DNA technology and related services are key parts of criminal investigations. We've told you how genealogy services are being credited for arrest in cases like Baby Michael in Cumberland County and the Ramsey Street Rapist. CBS 17's Bridget Chapman takes us behind the scenes of a crime lab and shows us what other cases may see this technology soon. Scientists extract DNA at the North Carolina State Crime Lab in hopes of helping criminal investigations. The lab sees about 3,000 cases a year requesting DNA. They'll extract DNA from swabs or items, process it, and add it to a database. Some pieces of evidence can identify a suspect quickly. Others can sit in the database for decades without any leads. And now through these um, public genetic genealogy databases, they are getting leads. So that's very exciting. The public databases let people submit their DNA test results from companies like Ancestry or 23andMe. Experts use the DNA to map out family trees and see where a suspect fits. The process has led to arrests in cases like the Ramsey Street Rapist in Fayetteville, the boy under the billboard in Orange County, and most recently, baby Michael in Cumberland County. Our tactics have changed a little bit. Um, a lot of law enforcement agencies are submitting these uh, profiles into the public genetic databases to try to solve cases that we haven't been able to solve. The Rocky Mount Police Department tells me they're now looking to use the genealogy technology for the cold case of baby John Nash. The newborn was found dead in a dumpster with a Cheetos bucket in Rocky Mount 13 years ago. The swabs like this are used. The crime lab will follow up to get more information on a suspect if they're found through a genetic database. They're separate entities using DNA to achieve the same goal of a safe community. In Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News.